America, Europe, and more. DisneyCruise.com. Hey, that? Well, Randy. Wow. No, that's looking great. I've never seen it look so shiny. Well, that's because after hours of deliberation, I have selected this car for you to take your driver's test. Over the Mustang and the Austin Healy? How'd they take it? Well, the Mustang took it okay. But the Austin Healy's in a bit of a snit. <laughs> Dad, I wanted to talk to you about my driver's appointment. Okay. I called down there to make an appointment, and they were all booked up on Saturday, so I made it for tomorrow. Well, I can't go to my work. I know, Mom. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, there's certain first times in a boy's life, you know what your mom with, and this is the main one. Um, <laughs> uh, a week from Saturday, we'll go. Dad, I don't want to wait a week. You can wait a week. Wait a week for me. I don't want to wait a week. All right, Frank? Well, no, a, a father's supposed to be there for the great moments in his son's life. Dad, you weren't there when I was born. <laughs> but this is big. I know how important No, this is, is, you don't know how important this is. This is really a big deal for me. Yeah, there's going to be other occasions. What other occasions? Well, you know, first dead battery, license renewals, tickets. <laughs> You'll be right by my side for all. You don't have to say this? <laughs> I promise. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Before the drywall is up. That's right. Up. Next, we'll show you how to run wire through the existing wall. It can be tough. You'll find yourself in a very tight spot, which Tim is very good at getting us into. <laughs> well, Al's also good at getting into tight spots. You wedged yourself in those trousers, didn't you? <laughs> now, sometimes, you know, conduit, water pipes, insulation can make it very difficult to run wire. Tim, give me a hand here. Huh? Now, as you can see from this cutout wall, running wire through here can be very difficult. But not for our next guest. Let's give a warm tool time welcome to the master electrician, Judy McHale. Hi, <laughs> right, Judy. Thank you. Judy, welcome to the show. Thank you. I understand you have a very unique way of running wires through tight, difficult space. That's right, Tim. I call it Judy's way. Well, fascinating. You have a, you have a unique tool that you use? You betcha. Right here, Judy's toolbox. Okay, well, why don't you open it with Judy's hand? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a rat. Yeah. What do you call it? I call it Judy's rat. A welcome addition to any toolbox. Does he come in metric? Oh. <laughs> tell the audience what you trained that rep to do. Oh, I've taught him to run all kinds of wires through walls, including computer wire for schools. So, you need that rep for you to use your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Judy takes her work very seriously. Judy needs a man. <laughs> Judy heard that. It's true, though. fellow how to run wire through walls filled with asbestos. <coughs> well, that would explain the cost then, wouldn't it? Why don't we put the little electrician through his paces, okay? okay? Judy put the rat in the opening up here. And then Tim is going to reward him with a piece of cheese at the bottom. You can see by the complexity of this wall, it'd be very hard to just bite in. That's where the rat comes in very handy. When it comes down the bottom, that little whiny cheese part itself. Hmm? <laughs> All right. What's next? Oh, what do you need the cheese? Ready? Um, I left it on the work bench. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what work 
work without cheese, Tim. I can motivate a rat. Watch this. Come on, get it. Okay. Okay, the way. Mm -hmm. One down there. Again down there. Come on. Ready. Come on. Yeah, Rick. Stop. What's the matter, Tim? Oh, Judy's Rick, but Tim's no. Judy has a confession to make. Judy's Rick doesn't know how to wire the swell because it's really not Judy's Rick. And I'm not really Judy. Well, who are you? I'm Judy's sister, Trudy. I just wanted to meet Al.
Another call for Mark. You know, this band thing is making him really popular. It's called a double. Yeah, that's true this month. <laughs> well, I'm back. Take them sound before the danger of nightfall bears the suddenly little head. <laughs> Did you and Lauren have a good time? Oh, yeah, we had another lovely, wonderful afternoon day. We caught a 3.30 matinee filled with old people explaining the movie to each other. <laughs> Then we went to an early bird dinner filled with old people saying, Does the salmon have bones? I hate bones. <laughs> hey, Mom. Our band got a rehearsal studio for the night. Can I go? I'll be back by 11. No, honey, it's a school night. Oh, come on, Mom. Just this once? I don't know. I... Mom, think about it. Mark playing somewhere that's not here. <laughs> well, your grades have been really good lately. So, okay, just, you know, get your stuff, I'll drop you off on the way to the PTA meeting. Thanks, Mark. Oh, I don't believe this. When I was his age, you never would have let me go out this late on school night. And you also never had trouble making friends the way he does. This thing has been really good for him. Wait a second, let me get this straight. Mark gets fewer rules because he's a dork. <laughs> and I get more rules because Brad's a dork? <laughs> That's night driving dork to you. Look, honey, I gotta go to this meeting, I promise. When I get back, we're gonna talk about this more, okay? Bye bye, guys. What? Does this seem completely unfair to you? Why would you want my opinion? I'm just a dork. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know, but I'm driving there in the dark. Mark's gonna pay for this.